called um, there's something called natural law and man-made law. What's the difference? What do you guys think? Um, yeah. Man-made, a man-made law is usually something they made so it won't hurt because mostly if something like texting and driving, that's man-made law because we didn't have cars. But natural laws don't kill people because that's natural. Don't kill people. Yeah, so natural law is, okay, okay. Natural go, law up. is the reason why people can't float around and have fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's freaking new. Natural mm. law could be something that, like, is already created in your head. It's just, like, said. Mm -hmm. Like, a man-made law would probably be a law created by the government, where man-made law would flow, or, like, a natural law would be something more natural okay okay good so 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 this is related to another question is how do you know what's right and wrong how, how do you know yeah because um, because everybody should know laws no no forget about laws I'm just saying how do you know what's right and wrong that's what I'm saying some people oh. have a silly thing called a conscience yeah. <laughs> what's a conscience like your head just being like common sense okay but but still, I want you to define what's what's right and wrong. How do you know what's right and wrong? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Because um, uh, things in your brain go, oh no, that's bad. But how do you know that? Like, like yeah. my question. That's yeah. By having a brain and not being a dumb human, you you maybe get a feeling in your gut. Okay. That you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? So, so that's what, called anxiety. <laughs> so so would people get a feeling in their gut when they're texting and driving? That that's wrong. When people get a feeling, like how do you know what's right and wrong? That's my question. Because you're told that it's wrong, so it's like already in your head. So that so wrong. okay. So morality and a conscience. I think those are things that are instilled in all of us from children, right? From your parents, right? They say, what do they say? Don't hurt people. Don't take their stuff, yeah. right? So basically, what, what what they're saying is, um, don't do things that create a victim, right? That those things create a victim, right? When you're robbing someone, you, you're taking away their property, right? Theft. Or when you hurt someone, or even worse, if you kill someone, there's a victim, right? These are, these are very basic uh, crimes that involve victims. Now, drinking and driving, I wouldn't recommend it, but really, there's no victim, right? You could get into an accident, it's true, but it's not recommended, but again, there's no victim. Texting and driving, it's not recommended, but there's no victim. You know, it's like, I don't I mean, you can think of so many things that are not recommended to do, but they don't have a victim. So how can they be a crime? Yeah. Because it could hurt someone, and it could have a victim, but it doesn't yet. Just okay, but, but again, that opens up a whole box of possibilities that you can make almost every, anything a crime, because anything, life is risky. You walk out of your door, you, you're prone to ha anything happening to you or to other people. So are you going to criminalize every single action that might have a victim? That's the question. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, it could also be hard because there could be people who do things once and then after, then after they realize it's wrong, they don't do it again. Or there could be people who um, like do it once, then do it again, then do it again. Then do it again, then do it again. Okay, do it again. yeah. Because there's more possibility of killing or end up hurting a person. Doing what? Do, doing uh, what? Texting and driving or something. Okay, but again, I mean, unless they, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just hard to, yeah, yeah. You could end up hurting yourself. Okay, again, okay, but still, even if you, even if you hurt yourself, you can't make that a crime. Like let's say let's say a person likes to drink a lot, that that's hurting yourself. Is that a crime though? Should you be in prison because you like to drink a lot? No. No. You end up being a drug addict. That's your. So so what's the reason that you shouldn't be in prison because you like to drink a lot? Or, or even let's he said do drugs, right? Maybe drugs is not good for you either. But should that be a crime? No. Why? I mean it's well, it's, it's your body. I mean if like like sending people to to jail because they do drugs doesn't make them feel like send them to rehab or like somewhere where they can actually get help instead of probably like if they go to jail they're surrounded by a bunch of other people like that and it's gonna like get worse yeah okay 
Okay, um, Mimi, yeah. Because it's a choice, maybe? It's more it's of a choice. choice. Yeah, okay, yeah, same. Prison is basically where drug addicts go to get even worse. They don't get even better because a lot of people sometimes end up selling drugs at prison somehow. Okay, that's another thing, but <laughs> that's true too. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, because, um, like, if you think of, um, drugs, it can also, it, the person could also be getting help from it. That's true too. That's true. So there's a reason that, like, like for example, you know, ten people could drink alcohol, drink wine, but not all ten people are going to become alcoholics, right? Yeah. So why do some people become alcoholics and some people don't? Responsibility. <clears throat> it could be that. Genetics behind that. Too. Could be genetics, the way you're raised. You know, if you, if you had a traumatic childhood. Yes. Yeah. Like something else on their minds. Like what? What do you mean? What do you mean something else on your mind? That's, so, the re like, that's the reason they drink, people, you mean? Yeah, so not all people drink a lot because maybe the people who do drink a lot have something else on their mind and they think that could help them. Okay, so to calm their mind, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they could probably be drinkers because um, uh, maybe the, the best friend just got hit by a car from another drinker. Uh -huh. and, and now they're just like, oh no, uh -huh. I have to drink because I'm sad. But then they like hit them. someone else's best friend. Okay. And it's just a chain reaction and chain reaction. And then everyone's a drinker and then the world's sad. 